Hello, my name is Chinoya Chuku. I am the director of Till, and you are watching the Hollywood Critics Association. My name is Stacey Vaughn. I'm with the Hollywood Critics Association. Yes. We are here with the director of Till, and let me tell you, this is this is a long time coming. <laughs> tell me about how you got involved and basically what it feels like for this evening. Well, I was asked by the producers if I was interested in telling this story three years ago, and they had been spending about 20 years trying to get this film made and uncovering so much research and reopening the case. And so when I decided to do this film, I told them that I will only do it if it's told through Mamie's point of view, if I write this script in a way that it is about her journey, and they were 100% on board. And so I, I was able to... Um, in, in, in it digest all of that research and to learn so much on my own and to form my own relationships with different members of the Till family and real life Merle Evers who's here tonight. It's been transformative learning all of that history, learning about these these freedom fighters who um, who created a legacy that I walk in right now and so it's been a transformative experience in my life and in my professional trajectory. Now, in projects like Clemency and Sorry for Your Loss, you really deal with very heavy topics and very heavy emotions and that kind of thing through the eyes of women and through the lens of women who are kind of battled and have these inner battles going on. What is it about those stories that you feel needs to be told? Well, I made Clemency and made Till not because I was thinking I want to make a particular kind of story. I was really drawn to the emotional and psychological predicament that these black women were in. And so it's story and character first for me. And so, you know, my next one might be a romantic comedy. Who knows? Yeah. Um, you know, but it feels incredible to have the opportunity on this scale to tell us this a story about a complex journey of a black woman and center her in her rightful place in history. Now, in terms of a takeaway for the audience, if there was a theme or an overarching theme that you think you want people to really digest and really kind of play with, what would it be? I mean, I want people to learn this, learn about this story. There's so much that people don't know, and so they're going to gain something from it. And they're going to also want to learn more. Um, and I hope people can really I'd see the parallels between past and present and see that history is repeating itself, that, you know, midterm elections are next month and voting people are continuously being disenfranchised and the vote is being threatened from us. And so that fight to protect voting rights did not start today. There's a legacy of, of freedom fighters who've done that work that we see in the film. And so people understand that this is not new, but there are people who continue to help move things forward. And I hope people have hope, you know, that even though the change you might want to see doesn't happen in your lifetime, there's still work that you can do to help move it closer towards progress. Well, I love that. And I think that this one's so inspirational. And I love that it kind of fires people up to keep going. Thank you so much for talking with us.